What's up guys, my name's Brandon, and just one week after releasing iOS 14.7 to the public, Apple returns today with iOS 14.7.1. Now, in addition to this iOS release, we also got iPadOS 14.7.1 and macOS Big Sur 11.5.1. So no software updates for watchOS or tvOS, at least not yet. So in this video, we're talking all about what's new in iOS and iPadOS 14.7.1, including the major bug fix included in this update, the security patches, the battery life, and more. So before we get into all of that, let's go ahead and take a look at the size and the build number for this new update. So you can see here, coming from iOS 14.7, this update is very small. So mine came in at 118.9 megabytes on my iPhone 12. That size will vary depending on your device and of course the firmware you are coming from. So if we go into our settings to check out the build number, let's go to general about 14.7.1. You can see the build there is 18G82. And if we go down to the modem firmware, you could see that is unchanged from iOS 14.7, it remains at 1.80.02. So now what's new here in iOS 14.7.1? And as you guys probably assumed from the small size of this update and the fact that we had no modem update, this is going to be a pretty minor release and that it is. So there's pretty much one major bug fix in this update. And if you guys remember, I did mention this briefly, but shortly after iOS 14.7 was released, Apple did acknowledge a bug in the software that affected users that had an Apple Watch paired with a Touch ID device. And Apple posted that, quote, when you have unlock with iPhone turned on, unlocking your iPhone unlocks your Apple Watch as long as you're wearing it. But then they mentioned that it is not working with Touch ID devices and that the workaround is to just type in your passcode to your Apple Watch to unlock it. And then they mentioned that a future software update would fix this. So iOS 14.7, of course, is that future software update. And in the release notes for this update, Apple says, quote, iOS 14.7.1 fixes an issue where iPhone models with Touch ID cannot unlock a paired Apple Watch using the unlock with iPhone feature. So that's a pretty big fix for those with Touch ID devices and an Apple Watch that has been addressed here in iOS 14.7.1 and was honestly probably the main reason for this update to be pushed out. But in addition to this bug fix, Apple did also address a pretty major security bug. And looking at the release notes, Apple shows just one fix in this update, but it's a big one. So you can see here, it's a mobile frame buffer bug and the impact is, quote, an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. Apple was aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. So they did patch this with improved memory handling. But what's notable here is that Apple says that this bug was actively exploited which means it actually affected some users out in the wild and it wasn't just patched before it got out there and before it impacted other people. So that alone should be reason enough to want to update from iOS 14.7 to 14.7.1, but we'll talk more about that in a few minutes. So aside from the Apple Watch bug fix and the security patch, I've not noticed anything else new here in this update, which is to be expected. I mean, it was under 200 megabytes and it came out just a week after iOS 14.7. So you should not be expecting anything major in this update to begin with. But I've looked around the settings, looked through my control center, looked through everywhere and did not notice anything else changed here in 14.7.1 compared to 14.7. Now let's also talk about the performance and the battery life here in iOS 14.7.1. So first off, the performance, after using this, it feels about the same as 14.7.1, but I did run a Geekbench test and you can see that I scored higher than iOS 14.7. So some pretty respectable scores here, a 1594 on the single core and a 4039 on the multi-core. And you can see compared to iOS 14.7, you can see there some nice bumps in both single core and multi-core scores. But as far as overall just raw performance just day-to-day -day performance it's going to feel about the same as ios 14.7 i could not see any way that performance would get worse with such a small update like this but then again it's probably not going to be a lot better either it's probably going to be about the same for most people in terms of the performance now as far as battery life goes 
battery life of course it's too early to tell i did just install this you know about an hour ago so it's too early to tell if it's going to be better or worse than 14.7 but i would expect it to be pretty much exactly the same because again this was just a very minor update that did not affect battery life or apple did not really address anything related to battery life so i cannot see any way that this you know makes your battery life worse or better it's probably going to be exactly the same as 14.7 for most if not all users so now should you update to ios 14.7.1 and i say definitely even if you do not have a touch id device or an apple watch this update will make your device more secure and it should not impact your performance or your battery life whatsoever so the really you know is no downside to updating to 14.7.1 so yes i would go ahead and recommend this to all users not just touch id users and of course like i do every single weekend i will have a follow-up video coming this weekend on 14.7.1 after i've used it for a little while to just update you guys on the performance and battery life or if there's anything else found in the software although i really don't expect anything to change you know in terms of my views from this video up until next weekend i don't really see anything changing because this is just such a minor update all right so now what's next for apple so today is july 26th and if you're on the ios 15 betas i would expect to see ios 15 beta 4 sometime this week most likely on wednesday the 28th of course it could be any day this week but i would expect to see an ios 15 and of course ipad os 15 beta release beta 4 this week now if you're still on ios 14 and you had the beta profile installed i would not be surprised to see a 14.8 beta 1 startup really as early as tomorrow july 27th it could also come next week i'm not too sure exactly when that's going to be but i would not be surprised to see a 14.8 beta start up because of course we're not getting ios 15 until mid september so we have a full month here for beta testing of course apple could just go ahead and do just a bunch of bug fixes like 0 0.1 0 0.2 updates but i do see a 14.8 as a possibility and we should see that sometime soon if we're going to see it at all so that's what to expect next from apple but anyways guys hope you enjoyed this short little update video on ios 14.7.1 let me know what you think about the software down in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you subscribe for a lot more iOS 14 and iOS 15 coverage here on the channel. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.